of this final day of this feast, let it be everybody's day. Amen. Meeting everyone at the point of their need. Make a way. Open our usual doors. Amen. Bless us again and again. Amen. We thank you because you are a faithful God. Yes, you rule and you reign in the affairs of men. Yes, thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. This morning I'll be speaking of the world works wonders. Amen. The world works wonders. In this first service, May the word of God work wonders in our lives. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 119 verse 18. The word of God is the authentic source of signs and wonders. And let's look at Psalm 119 verse 18. He said, Open thou my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. This is David speaking. He's asking God to open his eyes so that he can see wondrous things out of the law. Now, there are wonders in the word of God. That until God opens your eyes, you can't locate it. That's why when the professor reads the God's word, he may not understand this. That I may be whole. So every time you open scripture, you can see wonders. Praise the Lord. May you see that wonders this week. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Open down my eyes that I may behold one trust things. Out of your law. Inside this book is your financial breakthrough. Amen. In this book is your marital breakthrough. Amen. In this book is all the breakthroughs you need in life. Amen. Whatever problem you are going through, the way of escape is in this book. That's why David said, Open my eyes. As I begin to locate it, let my eyes be open. Praise the Lord. And can I tell you? The remaining days of this year, somebody will find solutions. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Luke chapter 1, verse 45, and blessed we see, you must also what? Believe. Whatever word of God that comes to you, you must also believe. For that word to find expression, for that word to turn your life around, you must believe that word. Somebody say, I am. For blessed is she. That believe what has been said concerning her from the Lord, for there shall be a performance. Whatever you have received this week, there will be a performance. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. And then 1 Timothy 4 15. I'm showing you this morning the wonder works of the Word of God. The Word of God works wonders. 1 Timothy 4 15. He said, meditate upon these things. That is God's word. Give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To profit means the wonder in the world. Yes, Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, give yourself by meditating wholly to these things so that your profiting may appear to all. Let me tell you one of the reasons why people are not profiting from God's word is because they have not meditated enough the word that they receive. Every word of God has capacity to turn your life around. But you need to meditate upon it day and night. That is when your profiting will appear to all. Because until you meditate, you can't practice it. Praise the Lord. Until you meditate upon these things, you cannot give yourself holy to it by practicing it. So, profiting means wonders. Amen. When we meditate on God's word, we take the logo. 
I will begin to ruminate on it until it becomes a rema for your situation. Praise the Lord. Until it becomes what? Your rema. Now, the logo profited nothing. But the rema is what profits a man. Praise the Lord. It is the rema of God's word that profits your life. Not the logo. Somebody say again. So, when you begin to meditate, you take the logo and the word of God becomes flesh. And it begins to work wonders in your life. So, don't stop at the logo. Don't stop at the letters. But take it to what? To the rema. Through meditation and revelation. Praise the Lord. Through meditation and what? Revelation. The word of God you meditated upon will bring life to your situation. Amen. Will bring light to your path. The Bible says, in him was life. And that life is the light of man. In him was life. And that life is the light of man. And the light shineth in darkness. And darkness cannot comprehend it. So the word of God is an illuminator. It brings light to every situation. It doesn't matter what a man is going through. When you have the realm of God's word, light shines in your darkness. And the only solution to darkness is what? Light. Praise the Lord. So don't allow the logo, don't allow the word to end in logo. Take the letter, meditate on it until you bring the juice out of the fruit. Praise the Lord. Until you bring what? The juice out of the fruit. Your orange is not important to you until the juice comes out. The fruit you are eating will do nothing in your body until you squeeze out the juice. And that is how you squeeze out the juice from the word of God. Every word that comes to your life, as you sit down to meditate, to ruminate, God was speaking to Joshua, this book of the law must not depart from your mouth. Thou shalt meditate on it day and night. So, every word of God that comes to your life, you need to meditate on it. You need to revelate with it. Don't stop at the letter, but take it to revelation so that light can flood your life. Praise the Lord. And your profiting shall appear to all. Listen, we have been receiving word this week. But don't stop the word at letter level. When you get to begin to restore, that word God spoke to me. Now, one of the words I want to bring you to remembrance. He says it's not giving us a, 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 a house. It's giving us countries. Yes, Did you remember? Yes, Praise the Lord. It's giving you a country. So, don't stop by just having a house. Countries will be gathering in this church. Yes. Now, I can go and sit down with that word and be thinking and brainstorming. That is where light will now come. Now, the word for this conference is what? Go forward. Somebody can just stop and mean go forward. But there are people that will meditate on that go forward. What does it mean? What does go forward mean? In my meditation, let me give you an example. I said to you, I said go forward does not mean you should sit down. You don't go forward sitting down. You go forward taking steps. That's meditation. You go forward doing what? Taking steps. Not sitting down. Somebody can just read that letter and say, we go forward now. No. You begin to brainstorm. What does it mean to go forward? In my business. What does it mean to go forward in my marriage? Let me tell you what that word did for me yesterday. Praise the Lord. I was strong. I was what? Strong. In the course of that meeting. Very strong. But when I remember that word, go forward. Ask her from VG, me and her. So come in. I woke up 5.30. Went out. 
to go and supply water with the strength I have. Somebody say, I have. I have that is the meaning to what? To go. You don't go forward sitting down. You go forward taking steps. So I said to myself, if you sit down here, hunger will kill you. You better step out. Go forward by what? Taking steps. So in that, with that sick body, I was driving. I went on three trips with the case of me. As I was driving, he was sleeping. Praise the Lord. 300 bucks yesterday. 300 what? I can see that I'm not doing too well. But I knew that I needed money. Somebody say, I am. Yes, I can see that at home. I said, somebody would ask me money. Who told you that? Mm. Galatians chapter 6, verse 2. Everybody will be at his own body. Oh. Everybody will what? Be yes. at his own body. Galatians 6, 2. Open it for me. Everybody will what? Since I saw that scripture, my life has changed. Behind me, one and a Sophie. No. What was that scripture? Everybody will be here. It was in Galatians 6. In every area of your life, have you seen Galatians 6 5? For every man shall be here. Have you seen it? Every man shall run. Yeah, so you must not carry your own body upon people's body. You don't understand me. You must bear your own your responsibility. Praise the Lord. If you fail to take responsibility, you die in liability. You die in liability. If you refuse to what? Take responsibility. You die in liability. You won't die in liability. I'm not hearing your amen. So, to go forward, sit down and start thinking about it. What does it mean to what? Go forward. Now, a husband and a wife who are believing God for the fruit of the womb, what does it mean to go forward? Eh? Praise the Lord. What does it mean to go forward? Husband must not be in Calabar and wife beware in Sokoto. To go forward means they must be together. To have their children. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you meditate on this thing so that your profiting can appear to all. In this season, your profiting will appear to everybody. Amen. Because the word of God will become a rema. It will leave local to rema. Acts 20 32. And now, brethren, I commend you to God. And to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. Praise the Lord. I commend you to what? To God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. There's an inheritance for you in this Bible. Every one of us have what? Inheritance. Jesus does not die without leaving an inheritance for us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But that inheritance will only come via his word. I commend you to God and to the word of his grace that is able to give you an inheritance and mock them that are sanctified. Praise the Lord. So the word of God carries wonders. The word of God carries your inheritance. Now, listen to me. I see a problem in the body of Christ. Many lazy word Christians. Many what? Believers are too lazy to read God's word. So they are running after prophets. Prophets that will cheat them. Prophets that will lie to them. They are running after signs and wonders. Meanwhile, signs and wonders should be running after them. The, any believer that is a lazy word hunter will die in the ability. Bury yourself in God's word. All your inheritance in this life is in the world. 
Somebody say, I am. This word pushed me out yesterday. Pushed me what? To walk. Praise the Lord. When I returned back home, listen. I gave my wife money. What did you say? He said, is it for real? My wife asked, is it for real? Up till now, she's still wondering. I said, your inheritance is where? It's in the world. That go forward. I'm the one that preach it now. Is that not so? I must watch talking to myself. I started thinking about it. I said, Lord, you give us this word. Go forward. What does it mean? He said, part of it is that whether you are sick, move out now. So 5.30, I woke up to so me from BG. I said, we are going out. Praise God. In how many hours? God turns things around. Turn things around. Turn what? Things around. I see things turning around for you. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Let me show you something. Your inheritance in Christ, the enemy will not steal it from you. Amen. So the word of God is the spirit of inheritance. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. He said, darkness will cover the earth, and cross darkness the people. He said, but the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory shall be seen in your life. And Gentiles shall come to the brightness of your rising. Now, light comes as a result of the word you meditated upon. By revelation. Praise the Lord. Light will always come as a result of the word you meditated upon by what? Revelation. Now, light will flood your life when you catch revelation of God's word. You will not be a liability. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I went to one of our members' house and I saw them running here to skelter. It is the word of God that gives you the truth. And it is the truth that sets you free. Now, somebody's receiving freedom now. Amen. I was with the kids who come yesterday. He said his friend in the office that the prophet of that his friend has nearly killed him. The prophet, the church he goes to, he said the prophet don't nearly kill him. He said the guy every day is always running up and down looking for money. Ah, ah, prophet said I must bring this here. Prophet said I say anything God asks for. And he's not bringing peace to you, it's not God. Anything God is asking for and is giving you sleepless nights is not God. He said the guy is lame now. Every day is running. He said, that guy does not know one word. All he knows is my prophet, my prophet, my prophet. No one word. I said, you better go and tell him that they have hypnotized him. He has been manipulated and arrested. He will need deliverance. Praise the Lord. But when you know the word, the word sets you free. The word does what? Sets you free. Your inheritance is in this world. Everything you need in life. Can I announce to you, before I marry my wife, I saw her in the world. This is my wife. You may say it's a KG inside the world. Go and check it. <laughs> ask her. Mommy must say ask. Yes. Go and study ask. You may say KG there. Praise the Lord. I saw her in the book. Somebody say I am. So, the word of God works wonders. Now, this is the conclusion. We have been told to go forward. Don't drop that word. Go and start meditating on that word. What does it mean to go forward? Look at what God said to Moses. He said, tell the children of Israel to go forward. The seas in the front. Pharaoh at the back. So they keep moving into the sea. It was why they were moving it that the water started parting into two. Praise the Lord. Until as they take step, God did not clear the water before they enter. Do you understand me? God will not clear the water until you move. As their legs enter the water, hey. 
So, until you take a step, God doesn't take a step. Yes, sir. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, for those who want to marry, take a step. Go forward. Yes, Namdi, go forward. Yes, Namdi, I say go forward. Yes, Amen. Yes, Namdi is going forward. After today, yes, God, God must come out. Yes, when they can't, when they can't, must come out. By the special grace of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, there is nothing that is hard for God to do. Only if we know how to go into the world and receive. Do you know what God said to Abraham? He said, Come outside. He'd be like, Sorry, this I don't need to tell you. You don't understand. He said, Count the stars. So shall your descendants be. Because until a man sees, he cannot believe. So you must see yourself in that scripture. Look at yourself. I am the one God is good talking about. I'm going forward. My portion this day is to what? Go forward. And can I tell you, not to be stagnant in your life again. There's no more stagnation in your life again. Your business will go forward. Your marriage will go forward. Your family will go forward. Your academics will go forward. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Listen, I close with this testimony. A young brother came to church in the midst of this feast. I was, he was crying, coming to meet me. Tears. I said, relax, relax. Tell me what you want to tell me. He said, my problems are too much. I said, which problem? He said, I have contemplated suicide on many occasions. He's working home. He's working in office. But things are somehow. He said, this is my first time coming here. But what I heard you preach this night, he said, please sir, help me. I held him and I prayed for him that night. By the next day, spoke God's word to his life. Spoke what? Filled him with what? He said, your word I have eaten. And it has become the rejoicing of my heart. Praise the Lord. By the next day, the same guy, after the second day of Sunday service, he said, sir, he says, he says, they have been dancing. He said, peace and joy has flooded my heart. He said, sir, I want to send something to you tomorrow. Can I be a blessing to you? And the next day he called me, he became a blessing. That guy, he said, this is my church for life. This is what? My church for life. Praise the Lord. He has concluded that nothing can come out again from his life. Oh God, and that's the beginning of glorious things. When the joy of God begins to flood your mind. When peace begins to reign. Then you are ready for going on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. amen. Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh.
from this moment, I choose to go forward. Yeah. I will never be stagnant. Yeah. I will never see stagnation. Yeah. Lord, I stand on your word. I go forward in every way of my life. Yeah. Now, say after me, say, Father, Father. I declare, I declare. According, to your word, according to your word, I choose to go forward. In my life, in my family, in my ministry, in the work of my hands, in my business, I go forward. Every yoke of stagnation is hereby broken. I declare forward ever, backward never. I go forward in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father Lord, I go forward. I go forward. I go forward. In the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus that I will never go back on in life anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus. In every area of our life, we will not go back on anymore. In the name of Jesus.
Father, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. You can take your seat in this presence. Certainly, you will not go the same way you came. Praise the Lord. Pastor, I really thank you again. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. You know, this, um, we are soldiers. We are what? Soldiers. Soldier. You know, in everything that happens, God teaches us lesson. So people of God, be ready at all times. In season and out of season. So that when they give you a microphone, like us, my has given me second service and third service now, you are prepared. Hallelujah! Yeah. But we trust God. Hallelujah. We trust Him. He knew I was going to be here today. He knew when He brought me here. And I know we are going to be blessed. This is the last day of the Feast of the Tabernacles. And it was not in a feast like this on the last day that Jesus stood. I think it's John 6:38, sir, or 738. Jesus stood. Say, how many of you are still testing? That is because some people were not reached on the first day. Let's understand spiritual things. Some people were not reached the second day. Some were not reached the day before. And so that last day, he said, is anyone testing? Does anyone have expectations? Are you desiring something? Say that out of you will flow rivers of living waters. The last day is everybody's day. So get ready today. You will not go the same way you came. The God of heaven that has brought you here. The God of heaven that has directed your feet. Do you know something? Nobody comes before God that goes back empty handed. Except God is not here. And we know that God is here. Even in your home. When you go before the Lord in His presence, do you know that you don't come back empty-handed? You don't. In His presence, there's fullness of joy. Life forevermore. When you go before Him, you come out with joy. You come out with peace. You come out with glory. You come out with life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Somebody will return with life forevermore. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 31. So the Lord, should I preach again? What I preach second service? Say no, change it. Training. Soldier. Now we can say we will soldier. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Psalm 31, and verse 19. Oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear you. Is there anyone in your home that fears God? Let me see your hand if you have if you fear God. You are a child of God. Let me see your hand. To rot for them. Another translation says, to give it to them. To pour it on them that trust him before the sons of men. We are going to the end of the year. Hear me here, God. We will end this year well. Amen. When God speaks, he speaks according to his size. Not according to your smallness. That is why when God gives promises, it looks as if, you know, will this thing come to pass? We begin to analyze it. But when God speaks, He will not speak according to your size. He speaks according to His greatness. And hear me, God has laid down goodness. God has laid down God's own God's blessings. For the end of the year. The end of the year with God ought to be better than the beginning. That is God. It begins small. It can start small. But it is not in the character of my father to end small. What are you saying, woman of God? The year is rolling, God is going. We just have one month and so few days. Are you telling me that God can do for me what I have not touched for the past 11 months? Yes, sir. He can do it. That is 
why it's done. And what God is about to do, if we so do it, then you will know that it is God and not you. Somebody hear me? Yes, if we do it in such a way that you will know it is God, it is not you. God has laid down goodness for the end of the year. God has laid down palliative for the end of the year. I was having a meeting with my people and the Lord told me and I heard him, God has a sense of humor. He said, daughter, tell them, I will give to them their own palliative. And we began to laugh. You know why I said it? During the lockdown, no, not lockdown, excess protest, when they were opening warehouses and carrying rice that belongs to them, I was what I said, Father, hey, how which one warehouse was close to me? Let me run and carry rice. Is it not of my own? I said, I call my, my sister, you know, is the office not close to Mother Mother? What you want to carry for lady? I think I will give you your own palette. So I declare again to this house. Your end of year palette is coming. And it's coming in a big way. But your God will give you your own. Goodness that he has laid down to give those who fear him. To give those who trust him in the presence of the sons of men. Is in your Bible? In the presence of your enemies. My dear, it's not the beginning of the thing that justifies the thing. It is the end of the matter. You may start small, you are ending pain. Don't despise the days of little beginning, but prepare and enlarge for a great end. This end of year, you will laugh. This end of year, you will rejoice. This end of year, you will carry your blessings in the name of Jesus. God will give you a palliative. We are going forward, and the days of hell will not be vain.
upon our hands, upon our lives, multitude, increase, abundance, greatness, ten times better than we were now. A thousand more, as you have said and promised, in the name of Jesus. Nobody here on the sound of my voice is living this abundable empty hand. Nobody with expectations. We grow without fulfillment. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So shall it be. Please don't take your seats. Hallelujah. Before I take my seat, quickly, there's an instruction. There's an instruction for this third service. I was sitting there. When he brought the instructions, he said, Tell them. He said, Tell them to give me an offering. So I said this, I heard him clearly. But I didn't hear it at the state. I didn't hear it at the second service. But he said, Tell them, not this your church, no matter what I go to say. Let them give me an offering, but don't call any amount. I heard him. You understand? So don't beg it, don't call any amount. But tell them to give me. It's God that is asking an 